Hello and welcome back to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. This is the Daily Telepathy for those of you that identify with the Twin Flame Connection. <clears throat> Since this is general, this is not going to resonate with every twin flame out there. So please keep that in mind. If you find yourself um, with more questions and answers or are confused, it's probably not your reading. Uh, don't try to make it fit. I do offer a personal reading. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description, as well as all the decks I'll be using here. Uh, most of the items you see. Uh, my Instagram information if you want to support the channel. Also, the jellyfish are not real. There will be an extended version to this video. Also, um, I forgot to mention, I'll probably put a post at some point that I will be offering exclusive uh, content for all my members on um, Patreon. Um, it'll, it'll be at least like a couple times a month. Stuff that I don't offer on uh, YouTube. Just kind of like the same as Instagram. There's things I do on Instagram that I don't do on YouTube and, you know, same YouTube and Patreon, all my different accounts. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and just take a quick sip of my orange juice here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get the energies of your uh, person towards you, your twin which we're, um, I'm just going to assume is a divine masculine because most of my uh, subscribers are divine feminine. And I'm going to put the divine masculine on the left side and divine feminine on the right. But keep in mind, energies can be flipped. So you might identify it with divine masculine side. And for those of you new to this journey, um, I'm just talking about energy. So when you hear me say he or she, I'm still talking about energy. So divine masculine can be a female or a male Okay, same with the Divine Feminine. So this is the wisdom of the Oracle. This is the energy uh, the Divine Masculine is in towards the um, Divine Feminine. And we have to be fair. Number 38. So that number could be significant for some of you guys. That is also uh, the number 11. So that is spiritual alignment. So I see scales here um, with this to be fair. This is an energy of, you know, wanting to do the right thing. So that's what I'm I'm getting is that your twin is in this energy of wanting to do things right and maybe um you know to be fair maybe um this is indicating that they might not have treated you fair in the past and now they're coming into some type of alignment um to be fair towards you okay and your energy towards your twin soulmates okay number 41 so this could also be significant these numbers 38 and 41 um this is that you know that love feeling you feel like they're that one okay whether it's um you know soulmate or twin flame i don't think there's a twin flame uh, card in here at least not to my memory but this is how you see them as you see them as your soulmate um you see them as the one um that you have that most love for that bond that closeness and you feel that close to that uh, connection with okay so we also have um a 41 which is five so five equal um uh, is about changes so let's go ahead and see what's your shared energy happy happy okay so that's really a positive energy and that's number 26 <clears throat> that could also be significant, which is also a number eight. So we have eight and we have 11, which both of those numbers are associated with twin flame connections. And we have five. So there could be a change that is, um, you know, on the horizon for the two of you. Or there's been some type of progress. So you're both in this energy of being happy. You just want happiness. And we have the start here, here. So there also could be an energy to have your wishes fulfilled and that you guys are seeing each other as each other's um, wish fulfillment. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see what your... This is my situations deck, uh, by the way. This is currently sold out. If you um, want to pre-order from my site 
or my Etsy shop when you live in the United States. Um, the information is below if you're international interested in my decks. Um, just send me an email below and I will send you the link to order. So let's see what your twin is wanting to be fair about. I'm going to get five cards for what your twin is wanting to be fair about. Love. Adore, admire, enchantment. <laughs> so your your twin is wanting to be fair when it comes to love, okay? So they they admire you, they adore you. And what else? And we have threatened, embarrassed appearances. So they might um, also want to be fair about um, before whatever they were... Um, worried about okay so it could have been them being more worried about their appearances um they could have done something that was um, that they're embarrassed about and they want to be fair about that and we'll look a little more into that too <clears throat> and then uh what else are they wanting to be fair about single current status available so what I'm getting here is from this card, some could be single, you could be single, the both of you could be single, but what I'm picking up is about being available. That's what I'm getting is that maybe um, you guys are not in communication or they didn't give you a chance to explain or anything like that. And I'm feeling like they wanted to make themselves available. Receipts, proof, show me. So they wanted to be fair about um, some type of receipt, some type of proof showing you something, okay? Uh, maybe that they've changed, okay? Maybe that they're now single. Okay? Maybe they're not worried about their appearances you know, anymore. They're no longer threatened. You know, pride and ego kind of issues. And let's go get one more. TikTok, deadline, time running out. So they want to be fair about something that has to do with timing, okay? About maybe making a decision. Um, something along those lines is what I'm getting here, okay? Where are we at? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just get a little bit further. And then uh, into this, tell me more about this love here. That they want to be fair about. This is the mermaid tarot. Five of Wands. So this is about some type of conflict that they have. Some type of fighting that took place uh, between the two of you. Or maybe it had to do with another person. Because the Five of Wands can involve other people. And what else about this threatened? Oh, okay. It brought out two cards. Um, the painful ending. Yeah, so they might have like betrayed you. You know, this came out of nowhere. Painful ending. You weren't expecting it with the Ten of Swords energy here. And then we have um, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, like they ended this happiness because the Ten of Cups is about being happy. And they ended this happiness with you just all, all of a sudden out of, um, you know, because they were worried about some type of uh, energy of uh, appearances is what I'm getting. Okay, so we have two tens here. So I feel that this is an ending to this and um, um, your person living in this energy of feeling um, embarrassed. And tell me more about why the single card is here. And we have the devil card. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is someone that's in, in a cage, okay, feeling trapped, trapped in um, whatever it could be, addictions. It could have to do with money, you know, the material world. This could be the reason why they were uh, threatened um, about their appearances, um, and this made them a slave to this situation, and maybe now they're wanting to change this. They're wanting to uh, get out of that feeling of uh, feeling trapped or a slave to their um, appearances and things of that nature. Tell me more about what this receipts is about. 
and we have four of cups so there's some type of proof i'm getting that they realize that they might have missed out on an opportunity with you uh, maybe they're worried that this is going to take place some of them might have had you know resorted to drinking as well with this person here drinking um, because of this because they allowed um, some type of um, um, threatened or you know uh, appearances come between the connection and then let's see what this TikTok deadline time running out is about and we have the chariot okay so the chariot is sign of cancer so we have Capricorn and cancer those could be factors doesn't have to be um, but this is about uh, the chariot going forward okay with a very strong force okay is victory is triumph and your this could also indicate some type of a distance some type of battle so this could be coming to a close because we have this five of uh, wands here this ten of swords and this distance your person is um, in this energy possibly of wanting to be fair uh, towards this connection because they're in this energy and so are you of being happy happy and wanting to just you know be happy they don't want to be in this energy and possibly have any kind of conflict with you okay so what i'm going to do in the extended reading um is go a little bit more into why this energy of the five of wands is here this conflict um what this is about um a little bit more about what they're wanting to be fair about <clears throat> also i'm going to find a little bit more about what this um, this devil card is here for what kind of addictions or is this uh, telling someone's current status um, that they're free from this um, as well because that's what it could be with that single card it could be free from addictions and then why this chariot is here and what kind of receipts um, that they're wanting to show you or what kind of proof um, has been shown to them and also I'm going to get like um, some messages from your person. Okay. So for like a quick, a quick little uh, update for you guys. So if you're going to, uh, if you are interested in joining us over in the extended, the link is below in the description. And um, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Um, have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.